This is Night's Dream about American Moon Moth. Hello, my dear friends. My name is Viktor Fursov. I'm a research entomologist, beekeeper, and teacher. And today I will be talking about American Moon Moth. Not about bees, not about wasps, not about parasitoids, not about parasitic wasps, which is my subject of research, parasitic wasps. So that's why I'm often talking about them, about their life cycle and life biology. But they're very tiny, very small, they're flying around it like plankton. But for other people, just big insects, giant insects are more interesting. Some moths are not giant, but they're pretty big. They were relatively more large, like this Saturnidae silk moth on this poster. Here, this poster about insects in Ukraine. I'm talking with you not from America, not from United Kingdom. I'm talking with you from Kyiv, the capital of Ukraine. And in English, to understand, to be understood worldwide. And so you can understand me and I can easily talk with you on internet, on my computer, the different media, media Facebook, the comments on my YouTube channel, or you can send me my private, on my private email, your private message, if you are interested in some kind of identification of different insects, which sometimes can be invasive to your house. So and you are not going to be happy about it if you are not entomologist, if you are not devoted biologist, if you are not devoted naturalist. Other people, naturalists, biologists and zoologists are usually very accustomed to the behavior of insects. But today we will be talking about night moths, nocturnal moths, which are bred actually in captivity at home. Very easy to keep some it's tiny when bigger, bigger and pretty large caterpillars at home to grow a culture of home pets, home pets, home moths. Oh, somebody is online, Dmitry. Okay. So, if you like insects, you can keep them at home like pets. Some people, some unusual people, some crazy people can keep at home even crocodiles, even just big giant lizards or just python snakes i do not appreciate this kind of hobby this kind of activity huge snakes huge lizards even tiny chameleons are very cute but very fragile animals better to keep them in the nature or only devoted well-educated zoologists can keep them in captivity to breed them in good conditions but for insects, conditions can be much easier. So that's why today I will be talking about moths, how to keep them and how to receive, finally, cocoons, pupae, and again, adults. You have, if you have seen my previous videos, the culture of night moths or nocturnal moths can be started from eggs. So eggs you can receive from private collectioners, collectors or private lepidopterists who are breeding in captivity. For instance, if I have large culture or lepidopterist has a cult large culture of insects, usually there are some males and females and after, fe after mating of males and females of different moths, the lepidopterists can receive eggs, bunch of eggs, and lepidopterists can share these eggs or can sell according to the order of these eggs, to another lepidopterist or another entomologist or to another amateur. So you can do it online if you want to breed some insects like nocturnal saturnid moths or silk moths in captivity, you can receive initially eggs. But I have already caterpillars because in my previous videos I showed you the whole cycle. And first of all, I need to show you caterpillar, not caterpillar, but adult I need to show you the moth, American moon moth. American moth is moon moth, not so big, about 10 centimeters size, lifespan, but pretty nice because she has a very beautiful green, pale, whitish color. So she's a little bit fat. This is a female with very tiny, fragile antenna on the top of head. Fat body because 
There are a lot of eggs inside the body. And if I could have a males and female, males, just many of them, they can be mating inside big artificial bag and I could receive some eggs. But today I will be not talking about breeding, but about growing something else, something interesting. About growing caterpillars in captivity. We put our beautiful moth on this octopus. Come, 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 come here. So you will know how my moth looks like. So she will be sitting on this very tiny toy, this octopus. She has female, of the, this is a female because this is a fat body, very tiny antenna, not so hairy. Male has a hair, too much hairy antenna, very visible. And very tiny tails. Yes, and she's flying, by the way. So that's why I have kept her inside special box for security, because if she will be flying actively around, she can damage tails and wings because of some light around. Okay, on, on lamp, for instance, because usually Saturn in the most silk moths are attracted to the light, uh, coming to the light on the top of sailing, so I can damage something of my body. Hopefully she will be sitting carefully. So, let's start from the beginning. Initially you can receive eggs. From eggs some caterpillars will hatch and the caterpillars will be growing. You need to give this kind of a host plants. I gave host plant like this one, big one. This is not a cabbage. This is a big leaves of... What? Walnut. Yes, they're growing very fast. Some trees near my house. So, some leaves are quite big, like cabbage. But this is still leaves of walnut. Different plants can be used as a host plant for food of caterpillars. And you can keep caterpillars just on plants and put plants in a bottle with bottles with water to keep them fresh. And how process is going? You can keep it a different way, the simplest way to be put caterpillars in container. For instance, in this container, already I have the last, but not the least, two caterpillars, which are where growing and feeding on leaves. So you can see this bunch of leaves has been eaten completely. Nothing, little bit, some pieces of are eaten. So if I have just a caterpillar, caterpillar is very careful, very sophisticated way of food, feeding, so eating leaf one by one, so carefully, don't miss very sweet pieces of leaves. So she ate a full bunch of leaves very carefully, because if you are eating and feeding on the bunch of leaves, you don't know what's going on around, maybe there will be no leaves. But here, you see, this is a caterpillar. I have some more, yes, because I get, yes, I get fresh, I gave fresh leaves here inside the bag, but still caterpillars sitting on this stick and feeding carefully, feeding, feeding, feeding carefully on small pieces of leaves, part by part, so I, unless everything has been eaten, she would do not want to miss anything else. Just will eat everything, everything carefully. Everything else. So you see all this eaten. So the size of these caterpillars already about six centimeters, quite a big one. And you see no leaves on this bunch of tree. Yes, and see, here there is just a rubbish. Of course, this container is small one for two caterpillars is good enough, but for more, it will be a little bit smaller. So that's why you need to do you just container with some ventilation and with some toilet paper on the bottom. 
to prevent too much moisture. Otherwise, much moisture will receive with moisture. You will receive some fungi, some infection, maybe sometimes even just a virus infection. So be careful about moisture to avoid rubbish inside, to avoid all this, to throw away all this poop, poop inside. And don't forget that when caterpillars want to pupate, they produce water. So don't be afraid. If some at certain point when caterpillars are growing, growing very fast, eating, eating very fast, eating too much, finally you will find some poop, dirty poop, black color poop, and some water. What's going on? You will say, maybe we are dying. No, 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 no. Caterpillars sometimes can change with the color. Well, sometimes becoming uh, yellowish changing the colors or, or a little bit orange or we can get just a maximum size of their growth and I will give a little one leaf more for them maybe we will need still some food so after producing ex exudate, exudate so they produce some water like a extra water on your, on your toilet paper or filter paper and it means caterpillars are ready to pupate to pupate what means pupate because pupa this is next step of development of caterpillars caterpillars are growing and they're molting by changing their skin to grow up by changing skill skin and they take off their shell the skin off five times they have a five instars five instars five life stages of caterpillars from the smallest to the middle size middle size and then just the biggest size will be fifth stage fifth instar and after that caterpillar will produce latest poop and latest water ex exudate to evo to some kind of extraction of water and will start to make cocoon start to spin a cocoon how to do it? We can find it here. Okay, I can show you how it's going on. What's going on in this container? In this container, the same situation. Most of all these caterpillars, they produce cocoons. How they are look, looks like, I can show you. Because I was keeping it a few days didn't distract the leaves but some leaves see this is terrarium with some leaves but already no pupa no no the caterpillars because all caterpillars in this kind of a container, in this kind of terrarium, about 10 liters terrarium, which have more space for caterpillars, more space for fresh leaves, all caterpillars, they produce cocoons. You see, still have some green, greenish leaves, and this is a kind of a box. You see, something is moving inside. Yes, this I want to show you. This is a cocoon. This is already a little bit brownish cocoon, which is made of silk. Silk produced by caterpillar. The caterpillar take off skin and becoming a pupa. So this process is called metamorphosis. Next stage after caterpillars, this is a pupa inside cocoon. How many pupae I have and many cocoons and finally I show you this kind of herbarium or I make this cocoon between leaves or between toilet paper because toilet paper have been used just for avoiding moisture and you see I have a lot of herbarium and this herbarium 
just leaves and these leaves are very noisy you see maybe not so you can listen it and hear it but you can recognize so these are all sticks All, all these dead leaves are still moving. Someone is rustling inside. What's that? So you, I can explain this miracle. Something is moving. It's not me I'm doing like this. No, 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 no. I can initiate it, but still it's continuing. Something is moving inside. These are moving pupae inside cocoons, inside silky cocoons. How will it look like? People were spinning it just between leaves, even between some toilet paper. So you see brownish inside. Something moving inside, I can show you in front of camera. This is pupa. Which is moving inside semi-transparent cocoon. And all this toilet paper with remnants of leaves inside several cocoons. So and they have a bunch of them. So as I showed you just all of them they are sitting inside cocoons and they are rustling. Yes, you can recognize they are moving. What's that? Quite strange behavior, very funny behavior. You, you can hear the noise. Yes, these noise are very specific for American moon moth. They're producing noise. You can suggest this is self-protection moon for self-protection. Because usually all predators like birds or maybe lizards and some squirrels were afraid some noise. So if caterpillar will be silent. Silent food, but this is active food. So, so that's why pupa and initially just even caterpillar is moving inside, but after molting, pupa is moving inside and producing this kind of a fu funny noise. So rustling, rustling pupa. So you can recognize they're making kind of musical instrument. Yes, Curious Koi asking me about what kind of food is better. Yes, I suggest that one kind of food, one kind of plant, like walnut, for instance, or cherry. You started with cherry, just feed with cherry. If you started with black walnut, it's good enough. You don't need to change, change the plant, food plant, because caterpillars will, will be feeding on one food source. So where do like one food source and if you change it from walnut to a cherry maybe we will not like it very much because we don't have opportunity in the nature to walk very actively very quickly from one tree to another tree it's a long way for them they can drop down just fall down from one tree to another tree just only by accident not very often So one kind of food is the best way. Even you can be here between these leaves of paper, as I showed you, or fully inside inside of the paper, fully inside the paper. So I do this jumping, jumping toilet paper. So this is jumping cocoon. The noisy as well. Because inside pupa and inside inside this cocoon. <laughs> no, no, she cannot. She is not able to escape because for pupa it's absolutely safe. Pupa is making noise for self protection, and she cannot escape. She cannot make a hole unless it will be the time 
of metamorphosis. Metamorphosis from pupa to adult or moth. But it will be actually on the next season, because I guess so we will not produce adults soon, because they will not have just good enough leaves for feeding them in autumn time. But it depends from the temperature, because for American moon moth Arctius Luna has several generations in northern Canada, northern areas of counties of Canada, American moon moths, they have one generation, but somewhere in, in Texas, American moon moth produce three or four generations because of different climate conditions and some of temper, temperatures. You see, we're, we're making sound, musical sounds, according to my speech, together with my speech. I cannot play on them. I... Sometimes, with, sometimes when I just go into sleep, while it's still moving. I do not try to disturb them very much. Here again, white cocoon with pupa inside. I will delete just the remnants of this, but I just remaining to show it. The size of cocoon just the same like Bombix Mori, the same inside already brown pupa. Yesterday it was still green caterpillar, when just this morning it was very pale brownish pupa, and now it's already dark brown color pupa. So, because pupa is hardening, so becoming with a good shell, for, so again, for self-protection, after molting, after the molting from caterpillar into pupa. So, and this is a time of a sleeping. So, it's so secret, secret, secret pupa, or secret, and this is secret caterpillar and secret So gerbarium is just noisy. So this kind of gerbarium, by the way, and I wanted to show you finally, like terrarium. Terrarium is still keeping, still with some leaves, because I didn't disturb it for a couple of days, because some caterpillars were made, some cocoons just on walls on the bottom here. So there is a whitish cocoon on the town side of terrarium. This one, this another one. You see here this brown color cocoon again. So you need to wait just a couple of days unless silk is hardening and also caterpillar is not pupating immediately after spinning cocoon. She needs to wait a little bit, maybe half a day, few hours, and this. She pupate, and pupa is very soft, so that's why you don't need to take off cocoon immediately. You will damage the pupa. But after a couple of days, pupa will be dark brown, so it will be easier to take off cocoon and put it in the separate box. And here the same few, few cocoons are still between leaves inside this cage. And already, unfortunately or fortunately, no caterpillars anymore. Because of all of them they pupated. Unfortunately, there are some virus diseases, some virus infections can appear on caterpillars. If you have 100, 200 caterpillars and you don't take care about moisture, so that's why some caterpillars can become ill, unfortunately. Why it means ill? Because there are viruses everywhere around, not only COVID for human beings, but also viruses for insects. It's a very common situation because only small amount or generation of caterpillars of each species of moth will survive through a generation till the lightest stage of caterpillar. Unfortunately, about six, seven 
Caterpillar is already big size like this. Vein became black colored and they died. So that's why be careful to keep your caterpillars out of water and out of poop inside the cage. So clean your cage as soon as possible as you see some dust inside to take off the dust. So with dust you can remove some fungi and some possible infection. So together with Where is caterpillar? Caterpillar, you are here. Yes, yes, this is two caterpillars. So, some caterpillars can die because we're becoming completely dark or we're becoming like a jelly. Maybe we spray it just water around they die immediately after infection. So of course you need to clean your container, change the toilet paper, change the ventilation, add some fresh leaves to avoid infection. Now I have only two caterpillars as a rem, my the last, but what not the, the least. And I really appreciate the help of my friend Oleg for sending me these funny eggs of American Moon Moth to have some fun with breeding these lovely caterpillars, which are very nice. I have recorded some behavior, how they are grazing leaves, and it's funny to observe them, how they are grazing with the mandibles, where we are mouth parts very quickly, and how we they raise all leaves in small pieces, part by part. And when we have a small size, a big size, or the biggest size, is the most beautiful, very funny. Green color with some small tiny pots with small hete on the body. So that's why you cannot be very sensitive, like another species of moths, which are very hairy. This, this species, American moon moth, more or less not so hairy, you can say practically bare or naked caterpillars. So that's why you don't be afraid about allergy regarding hairs which can come, come by accident to your eyes or on your skin, practically by naked and not so dangerous. But try don't touch them too much because this is stress for caterpillars. If you touch them, if you want just to enjoy, what is this you die, lovely caterpillars, how you looks like? And touch with your fingers, so you you can be your fingers can be vectors of some diseases, some viruses. Don't touch them. And of course, if you touch them with your fingers, put on your palm, just playing with them like with toys. Don't play with them. Keep it. Keep them on sticks, and observe carefully, or just take some photos, videos just for fun, for curiosity, for education, to show it for your friends, for your parents, for your children. Because it's quite easy to keep them, even in a small container of 3 liters, 5 liters, 10 liters, and a food plant like a black walnut or cherry. Is it just easy to, access, to get access anywhere, just around houses in a park. So, that's a story about American Moon Moth, about funny caterpillars, and of course, about very funny pupa inside cocoons. If you enjoyed, if you liked it, if it was interesting for you, you can repeat this my experience yourself, searching for some caterpillars, searching for some lepidopteris who can send you eggs of some butterflies or daily butterflies or night moths. And you can repeat this experience at your home, keeping these cages or containers at home in careful place, not in direct light, because under direct light in summertime it will be too much moisture and insects and air inside will be very hot, so caterpillars can die. So you avoid put it in the shadow part, just under conditioner if it is cool in a room. 
to provide careful conditions for all these caterpillars. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to my channel if you are not subscribed. Press like, write your comments, ask your questions under this video in comments and visit my Patreon page for some donations. Why not? This is kind of feedback. And ask your questions if you are interested in some entomological questions and some questions about insects, mites, ticks, or something else, some other arthropods or insects. Or if you are interested about Ukraine. So I can tell you more about Ukraine because Ukraine now in a war situation, which is very much unpredictable and difficult. That's why we say support Ukraine, Ukraine, stand with Ukraine, and looking forward to see you soon on my channel again. Thank you for watching. Good luck and see you soon on my channel. Bye-bye. Finished translation.